Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to show you that the MI rack is now polyphonic. It has the ability to support multiple notes. When you play, for example, an instrument which has been created as a generator inside MI rack. So that's great news. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Additionally, I would like to um, make sure that all viewers know that this is not a sponsored video. Okay, so why is it so good? Well, because MI Rack is a great product, but it's a modular um, product which supports the creation of so many things, like for example, generation of sounds, MIDI sequence, etc. You can do a lot of it. But when you use it, for example, as a sound generator, it, it didn't really support up to now multi polyphony and it was not polyphonic. So this is a great news. And in the past, actually, that um, personally quite uh, disappointed me in the terms of not having that support, but that now has changed. You have polyphonic support, and I'm going to show you in this video how you can use it. So let's see. Okay, so we are inside the AUM, and I have an instance of MI Rack, as you can see here, as an audio source inside an audio channel. I have just connected, as you can see here on the left hand side, as a MIDI input, my launch key, MK3 49Ks. Okay, so now let's open it up. As you can see, no more MI Rack. So let me show you first of all that it supports um, polyphony and it is polyphonic. So let's go here and we click here on the menu and we go to demo patches and then we click here. You have a new one called Polyphonic MIDI Synth. Now, if your connection is right, you can play on your external controllers and um, you will hear polyphonic sounds. <laughs> Well, that's amazing. I really love it. So now you can really use it as an AUV free instrument inside, for example, AUM or another host that you prefer. So let's see how it works. So we click again on the menu, we select new from template and let's choose generator, which has a support for 16 channels. Well, we're not going to use them. We click and hold here so we can move the audio output to the right hand side. So we have more space here. Now let's double click here. Um, on the canvas and we have access here to um, to the, all the different modules which are available. Now you can see here it says audio, MIDI and sync. You see this P that is for support polyphonic. So where you see the speed that means that that module will support polyphonic. Okay so remember that because there are some modules which will not. So let's start very simply just going to the audio and MIDI sync and uh, let's select a basic MIDI input. And again, you can see up here that you have a P for, su for support again on polyphonic, right? We click on add to patch. There it is. Now let's double click on the canvas again. And now let's go to essential and let's choose that the FM operator. Again, you can see support polyphonic there again. So you need to check that and click add to patch. Now let's make some uh, connection, but before we do that, let's arrange a little bit the position of the different modules. Let's enable environment, okay, or envelope, I should say, actually not environment. And so that we can use here the, um, the ADSR, okay? And let's also decrease a little bit the attack and increase a little bit, why not, the feedback. Okay, great. And perhaps let's decrease a little bit the level as well. So we do the right connectivity. So we click here on V octave and then we'll uh, um, make the right connection. So we have signal for uh, um, the different nodes that we will create using the external MIDI controller. And then we get the gate signal as well to come in here as well. Next, we connect the output here to the first um, audio output left and right channel and we repeat the same here. Of course, you need to do it from this one like so because if you click here, you remove the cable. Okay. Now, if you uh, pr press it here, it will say um, host apps and it will receive from all different channels. So let's try. 
Now, if I try to play two notes at the same time to test if it is supporting polyphony, it doesn't work. In order to enable that, you need to do a couple of things. First of all, you need to go here on the menu and activate polyphony. Okay, so you need to do that per patch and that's important. Next, double click on the MIDI input module and you see at the bottom it says uh, polyphony channel up to eight and um, hopefully in the future that will increase, um, for example, to 16. Let's set it to eight. Okay, and then you also have a polyphony mode, and this is great. It, it changes the behavior in terms of how polyphony is, um, is handled. So from rotation, reuse, reset them, and also more important to MPE. Okay, so now let's try. <laughs> As you can hear you have support um, for polyphony so multiple notes played at the same time so that's great now remember you need to check that the module support um, polyphony okay so let me show you let's double click and let's search for uh, a um, an effect and so perhaps like um, a reverb would be um, the way to go so um, let's click on the keyboard here and show keyboard and uh, let's search for a reverb like so now let's bring in the spring reverb a double click and let's make the right connection here we go to input one and we go to input two and then we take the mix to the first and second output let's play well you can hear it's not behaving very well as I press different notes. And um, and even if I bring up the AUM keyboard, you can hear sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. So, so there's something wrong. Well, so let's double click again. You can see this is not supporting polyphonic. So there is a way to uh, solve this. And indeed, if you see here on polyphonic utilities, you have a lot of different utilities which come to help. And the first one is mono which converts polyphonic to monophonic okay so you double click on that and you bring it there okay so we take the output now of the fm operator we go into poly here okay and then what we do we take the um mono here output so we remove this we remove that actually i should have done polo here to the FM operator, so the output from the FM operator goes into this converter, and then the output, which is mono, goes into the in one and in two of uh, and the spring reverb, and then I take the mix up here to output one and two of the audio output module. So this works perfectly. Now let's increase the wet here. As you can hear it is now working so there are a lot of other utilities of course which comes um, handy you have a splitter here which split a poly signal into separate channels you have a merger which merge multiple inputs into a single poly signal uh, some channels or poly signal the money converter which we have seen you also have an arpeggiator as well a polyphonic voice reassigner unison which is really great for that type of effect if you want of course to do that and then you have polyphonic per channel constant voltage and um, also offset and scale then you have a monophonic to polyphonic multiple as well the opposite of mono okay and then you have a logic analyzer as well which we'll see in the other tutorials okay i hope you enjoy the short tutorial now you can use mi rack in polyphonic mode thank you very much see you next time bye